Austin, um, I love circle my question. Is there a reason for that tattoo? Here, Trey places. I also just like, I actually got it two weeks ago as soon as I got here. here. Um, I just like how it looked, honestly. Um, and I have a tattoo up here, so I was like, well, I might as well finish the arm. Um, so I just got it because I think it looked cool. Transfer tattoo. <laughs> Transfer tattoo. When you got in the portal, what were you looking for when you got in the portal? And what did you find when you got in there? Um, really, I was just looking for a spot that best fit me. Um, you know, academically and my, like, most importantly football at this point in my career, I had my college degree. Um, you know, I wanted to find like a place where me and the coach would get along. I think I could be very, you know, used very well here. And, um, you know, just be able to like, show what I can do on the field. I think this is the best place for that. What's you want to play, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, absolutely. Right. I'm going to where I'm going to play. But. Yeah. What's it been like talking shop with Willie? Because he's one of the only returners coming back on the line. Oh, uh, yeah. We, we talk about a lot. Um, you know, he's a guy that's in a leadership role. And I'm, co I'm coming in trying to step into a leadership role, being one of the older guys in the room. Um, you know, having him there, they're kind of like, hey, let's go to this play, let's, let's do this. He's kind of helped me, you know, get the playbook down easy. Um, you know, he's been a big role in helping me trying to step into a spot where I can, you know, help lead this team to make the playoffs this year and hopefully win the national championship. When Howard came in, he had the connection with Coach Clemens because he coached him in North Texas. What was the connection made with you? Or was there like a familiar face? Um, it was kind of familiar. You know, my dad's from Texas too, so it's Coach Clemens. Um, so you know, they kind of they kind of have similar personalities being from Texas and Texas guys. And it was like they're, they're distinct. Um, so two ornery guys is what you're saying. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, I mean it lovingly. So you know, um, you know it's kind of it was kind of relatable um, from that aspect. Um, and I like Coach Clemens, he's a straight up guy, you know, he's going to tell you how it is, he's not going to sugarcoat anything, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, I respect someone who's going to tell me how it is all the time and not just, you know, tell me what I want to hear, so I like that too. Did you get any sort of advanced scouting from Stacy Searles? I mean, did you, I mean, I don't mean it like a bad thing, like, right. did you, did you, did you bounce any ideas off of him? Did you say anything like, what's it like in Chapel Hill? Did, was uh, that, did was, you do that at all? There was a few times, um, you know, me and Coach Searles have a great relationship, you know, he's sure. a great guy, great coach. Um, and I know Mac's still tight with him, too. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. Like, um, and I asked him about uh, Coach Clemens and everything. I was like, hey, is Coach Clemens, is, you know, is he really, he's like, he's a great, he's a great guy, great coach. Um, you know, hearing that from him also kind of sold me on the place because, you know, I was like, hey, like, my coach I had before, like, he's telling me, hey, like, this is a good spot, and that really meant something to me. Yeah. Austin, I know you wrestled in high school, and that was a while ago. How has the wrestling contributed to your agility and your ability off the line? Uh, yeah, it's been a big part of me because in wrestling, uh, it's a lot about, you know, like body control and uh, balance, you know, how to use someone else's weight against their, like, against them. Um, and, you know, I think that a lot of people that say you shouldn't play other sports, I, like, I think that's not, like, that's not true, especially for linemen. I think you should wrestle because it teaches you so much about your body, it teaches you how to just use your weight the right way. Um, you know, it's fun too. You know, I, I went out there my freshman year doing it, and I was like, hey, like, I'm just going to do stay in shape. And, you know, I ended up winning the state championship my senior year in high school. Um, so, you know, I recommend that people do if they want to be a good offensive lineman. Do you do anything right now um, besides just your mandated workouts for kind of stability and mobility? Uh, I mean, I stretch on my own too. Um, I actually do like some wrestling stretch where you like go, you get your bum on your neck just to like, you know, it's just a habit I have still. Um, and then I actually go in there, I actually hit the punching bag, like not from ability, but just for hands. I hit the, the punching bag a little bit. I'm a big MMA fan, so I do that just to kind of work on my hands and everything. Willie's a wrestler. Did, I don't know if you told you that, but like, he was a big, he has a wrestling background too. Yeah, I've been giving him, um, I've been giving him some, some words about him that's for wrestling. It's a little different. Um, we've actually wrestled the locker room. This Already? This better. Um, <laughs> okay. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let that, I'm not going to say who won, I'm just going to let that, let that slip huh. So you and he are both pretty flexible guys on the line. Right. Coach, Coach Brown was saying how you can play all five positions. Yes, sir. Like, in your mind, where do you see him and you ending up week one? Uh, I don't know. It's me and we both, we both play guard and center. I was going to be inside somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, that was a big thing about me coming here because there's lots of people holding me at tackle. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, I don't, I don't play tackle. I think if I'm going to go to the next level, it's going to be at guard. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, uh, I think it's interchange like interchangeable. We don't know right now. We have a lot of guys that can play inside. You have Willie, like Malik, all of those guys that can play inside. Adorno. Um, so, you know, we have a lot of guys that can play inside. So, it's really just – it doesn't matter to me. Whichever fits the best for this team, that's what I want to do. What kind of quarterback's Mac Johnson that you've huh. seen so far? And plus, um, you saw him for a couple years, too, the right. SEC. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's a great guy. I love Mac. So, we actually go golfing like, every weekend and stuff and hang out. Um, okay. We watch, like, the, 
football games together all the time. We can play all the games. We're probably going to watch the Super Bowl together. I'm actually getting to Athens to go see my brother and my girlfriend this next weekend. Uh, so we might watch the game together because he's from Athens. But, um, he's a great guy, though. He's very, very competitive. I can tell from on the golf course he hates to lose. Um, and I'll say he lost to me. I'm not very good at golf. But, uh, hey, I know the feeling. Yeah, but, you know, just from that, I know that he's, you know, he's going to be a great competitor on the field. And, I mean, I'm very excited to have him behind us this year. Or, or Connor, whoever it is. You know, sure. I'm just excited to have him on the team. Who's your Super Bowl pick? So, oh, man. I'm not going to go to KC. I mean, they're all that offense. I know. I want, I want 49ers to win. But the KC is just crazy. You know, they got Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey. They have a pretty good line this year. Yeah, pretty good line this year. Um, and their defense is pretty, is pretty good, too. So the, qu- the quarterback-offensive lineman relationship's already sprouted up oh, with Max. It's yeah. like playing golf and goofing off and yes, hanging down. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's awesome. Take us on the golf course. Like, what's what's going on there? Um, he's a lefty, right? He's a lefty. Yeah. Which, well, Swing lefty? No, he plays golf righty. Okay. He plays golf righty, uh, which is crazy. Yeah. I think. I think he plays righty. I think I'm pretty sure he plays right. Got a 50 50 shot here. Well, we're just so into it sometimes. I'm focusing on myself, my swing, so I'm just right. Like, hey, Max, do you play golf lefty or righty? Yeah, right. see, all right. You should have yeah. trusted your first game. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I just get a lot in the game. Um, but, you know, we're out there playing, it's just super competitive. He's always just like, if he has a bad shot, he's he just sit there and he just, he's getting his own head and he's talking to himself and you're right. fired up. It's pretty funny, that, but um, just knowing that he's that competitive is just making it uh, very exciting for this year just to see what we can do on the field. Coach said you guys have already kind of worked on snapping together and stuff like that. What's sort of, I guess, that just working out on your own together been like since you've gotten there? Uh, you know, it's been good so far. You know, we try to do it. We've done it like a few times a week, uh, each week, just, you know, like working on that. Because, um, you know, he's a, I've never had a snap to a left-handed quarterback. It's actually different because when a right hand is like this on center, you know, he's like this on center. So it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's not bad. We're, it's, it's, we're getting used to it. Um, but it's just the, the pressure to where you're trying to push up on is different because his thumb's a different spot and his middle finger's a different spot. But, you know, doing that together is kind of building our relationship even more. Um, like I said, like with the golf too, with golfing, snapping together, doing these workouts and just hanging out on the weekends, um, it's really bringing us closer. And, you know, I think by the time season rolls around, we're going to have a great relationship and be ready to go. Did you play against him at all in Iceberg? I did not. Uh, he was 4A. Uh, up in the county, county. That was five. We were five eight. Well, we're six eight now. We were five eight back then. Yes, sir. How much on the center will he be? Usually, it's only goal line. Good question. Yeah. Um, you guys kind of change a little bit more on the center You know, I I don't really don't know. Um, you know, UGA we did get the under center, so I was always ready for that. Um. But, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to be fourth and one on the goal line. we got to go for it. And uh, he's going to be under center. Um, so, you know, I'm just being ready for it. Just always be precautionary. Just be ready to go when you got to go. I also think part of what you're saying, what I'm gathering is that it's also the chemistry. Mm-hmm. You just got to build it. So you got to start yep. there and kind of branch out, right? You said. Also, um, oh, sorry. Keep going. I didn't mean to interrupt okay, you. Okay. Yeah, uh, just like the chemistry, like I said, just hanging on the weekends, golfing together. Uh, you know, getting to know the guy that's behind you makes a big difference of, you know, Hey, I got I got to put this guy behind me. I got to get the ball to him and uh, do my assignment. And that just is like a big reason uh, we've been hanging out so just so we can get to know each other and you know just develop that relationship to where hey, like, I need I need to put this guy at all costs. How does a guy who hasn't been here come in here and try to take on a leadership role? Because Mac was singing your leadership praises. He said you just had that maybe character about you. Like what's what's that about and how does that work? Um, you know, it's a little different, different coming in as a transfer. You know, we're in the new era of college football where older guys are coming in and step into a role where they have to be leaders. Um, but I think there's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. You don't want to come in and say, hey, I, I, want, to, I, I want to be a leader's team. You have to earn the respect of the guys. Right. Um, I think that's what I've been striving for these, these first few weeks, you know, getting the, the giving the guys to respect me and, you know, respect what I do so that, you know, this year I can, you know, contribute to what I need to do for us to be a winning football team. What was your 